The fastest way to lock your hair, cone coils, hands down. The easiest way to lock your hair has got to be two strand twists. Welcome to Perfect Sex Beauty where we talk about everything locks, lifestyle, and beauty. My name is Simone and this is the ultimate guide to help you figure out what method will work best for you starting your locks. Whether that be cone coils or two strand twists. Yo, my loctician done did it again. She done did it again. This is not a pros and cons list. To be considered a con, in my opinion, a detriment to the health of the hair has to be presented and neither of these methods do. But there is what works best for you. And you can use this guide to help figure that out. FYI, there are other methods you can start locks with, whether that be free forming, interlocking, braids, those are terms you're going to want to type in the search bar to research more about that. But cone coils and two strand twists just happen to be the two most common methods. I know researching everything you need to know about starting your lock journey can be overwhelming and even ambiguous at times, but that's why I made a starter lock starter kit video about everything you need to know before starting your lock journey, link in the description. Without further ado, let's talk about cone coils versus two strand twists. Even though comb coils are a tried and true method of locking hair the fastest, two strand twists are debatably the most popular choice, especially considering the man them. I'd say most guys gravitate towards a two strand twist, whereas with the galadam, 50-50. The biggest drawback about two strand twists is that the hair is going to take a long time to lock. It is going to take a long time for budding to appear and it is going to take a long time for the twist pattern to disappear. How long is a long time? On average, two strand twists lock between a year and a year and a half and on the far end of that I've heard as long as two years. However, cone coils take about six months to a year to lock on average. Depending on the length one starts to lock, that time could be even less for either method because naturally it takes less time for less hair to become locked. Three inches of length is going to lock quicker than nine inches of length. Why do cone coils lock faster than two strand twists though? Aside from free form locks and to a degree semi free form, matured locks resemble a cylinder shape. Because cone coils are cylinders, they present the best foundation to build on top of and blueprint for the hair to follow. With two strand twists, the shedded hair will have to work overtime in order to fill the ridges of the twist pattern. Just in case this is one of your first lock introduction videos real quick, locks are formed between a combination of the hair that already exists on your head and the shedded hairs that will accumulate over time. On average, we shed about 100 hairs a day. These hairs will continuously go through a process called budding until a mature lock is formed. Cone coils have a hollow center that catches the majority of shedded hairs that aids in the lock forming. For the existing hair already on the head, in addition to the shedded hair that will accumulate over time, the hollow center creates a gateway for the hairs to reach across the entire lock, whether that be diagonally, up and down, sideways, creating a matrix of hair. The cylinder shape coupled with this freedom of movement accelerates the locking process. Two strand twists, on the other hand, restrict the hair's movement. That makes the process of hair locking look different on two strand twists and appear to take longer. The center of a two strand twist is the twist itself. So for those of you who want thicker locks, this is the best foundation to start with. Since the twist will end up being the core of the lock, this creates substance and density within the lock from the beginning. 
And for those who have thin hair, it will at least create the illusion of having thicker locks than what would otherwise be achievable. Kum coils lock faster, so why do people opt to get two-strand twists? Various reasons, probably the most prevailing is being able to do two-strand twists on yourself. Two-strand twists require basic skill. When it comes to starting your own locks, the most difficult and important thing is going to be creating your lock to part ratio, but once you've got that down, a two-strand twist is simple to achieve. Comb coils aren't rocket science, but it does require a technique that the average person doesn't practice outside of starting locks. Being able to start your own locks appeals to many people who want to create a bond between themselves and their locks. Those same people typically end up maintaining their own locks in order to preserve the essence of their crown. It's believed that the less people, especially people you don't know, but it's believed that the less people in your hair, the more sacred the bond. Also, there's a financial upside to starting your locks and maintaining your locks on your own. Locks may require minimal maintenance, but it still requires maintenance, and that maintenance costs money. However, there are those who have started their locks by themselves with two-strand twists that still recommend consulting a loctician in order to create your lock-to-part ratio, and the density of your hair will be an important factor in that. Two-strand twists tend to complement any density, and it's said to create the most volume as far as the starter lock phase goes cone coils will do the exact opposite again cone coils are a hollow structure little to no volume will come from having cone coils however there's an asterisk there cone coils will only look like cone coils for a month top throughout your entire journey after that it'll be a mixture of variations throughout the hair between budding frizz and the roots reverting to its original pattern. They will naturally reject the uniformity of the coils. Now your hair will conform to that pattern over time, but until it does, the starter lock phase will not be a uniform appearance. That's probably another reason why two strand twists are popular. They give you the opportunity to wear your hair in a structured style as they retain and restrain the hair from reverting to its original free natural form. The vast majority of the length of the hair will look like a twist, opposed to comb coils where a third of the hair will be your roots in its free natural state. Another third will be budding and another third will be just a coil. Many textures and shapes going on at once and certainly not what's considered conventional. Now there are plenty tangible reasons why one may choose one method over another but there are also societal pressures that influence our decisions like how we are perceived. The way cone coils throughout the starter lock phase, but the way cone coils appear to society, a lens that is typically anti-usness, cone coils are more likely to receive ridicule, disapproval, and mockery. Not saying you're immune to that with a two-strand twist, but the margin of possibility and frequency greatly widens with comb coils. But when are you gonna do something to your hair? What are you doing with your hair? You still have time to comb it out, you know? <laughs> now that's not to deter you from choosing comb coils or to validate those claims, but it is to inform you about what you more than likely will encounter. Comb coils have various formations at once, but so do two strand twists. Your roots are actually going to lock faster than the shaft of your hair, creating an interesting dynamic as well. Both methods are prone to unraveling. In my opinion, unraveling is part of the locking process and there's no way to avoid it. But with two strand twists, not fixing an unraveling twist will more than likely create a two-headed dragon. Nothing wrong with them, but I do know it's not 
something everyone is going for. Now, although both methods are prone to unraveling, two strand twists are far more prone to bunching. So let's review. Comb coils lock fastest. Your hair will start budding quickly. Your hair will resemble a cylinder shape the quickest. They're hard to start yourself and you more than likely will require a loctician to start your locks. They do not create volume. Again, let me put an asterisk there. For those of you with naturally dense hair you know yourselves okay it doesn't matter what fashion you wear your hair it's naturally going to appear voluminous but outside of that cone coils are not going to create any more volume than you were born with so there's that. They're prone to unraveling, but fixable with little to no consequence. Each section of hair that will eventually become a lock, but each section of hair will have multiple variations and textures going on at once. And the most prone to ignorant comments. Two strand twists take a long time to lock. The twist pattern will take about seven to eight months to begin fading and even longer to completely disappear. Budding takes a long time to begin, a process that signifies the hair is locking. They are extremely easy to do yourself. You can wear your hair in a two strand twist style throughout your starter lock phase because as we know, two strand twists are a style in themselves. They're prone to bunching, something that can hinder the locking process. They're prone to unraveling and unchecked can create two-headed dragging. Two strand twists will create volume and they are the best method to creating thick and or thicker locks. Remember that between all of the lock phases, your starter lock phase is the most short-lived. Whether you choose comb coils or two strand twists, they both end up looking like locks. That has been your ultimate guide to choosing what method, what starter lock method works best for you. I love making content like this for you all. Go ahead and press the like button for me to help this video reach more people like you. And so that you don't miss when I drop something new, don't forget to press the subscribe button and the notification bell on your way out. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time, you guys, peace. See ya.